Part 1. Directions. For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture on your screen. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then, choose your answer on your screen. The statements will not be shown on your screen and will be spoken only one time. Number 1. Look at the picture marked number 1 on your screen. A. They have crossed their legs. B. They are holding briefcases. C. Shades are covering a window. D. A man is extending his hand. Number 2. Look at the picture marked number 2 on your screen. A. A potted plant is standing beside a computer. B. Seats are arranged in the corner of a room. C. A square table has been left empty. D. Bookcases have been built into a wall. Part 2. Directions. You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will not be shown on your screen and will be spoken only one time. Select the best response to the question or statement and choose the letter A, B, or C on your screen. Number 3. I'd be happy to give you some advice about your presentation. A. Thanks. I could use some help. B. He has a lot of experience in this field. C. I'm sorry to hear that. Number 4. Doesn't this digital camera come with a spare battery? A. It has several useful functions. B. There's an extra one in the box. C. Try turning it off and on again. Number 5. How long have you been working in construction? A. Nearly 18 years. B. They finished the building last week. C. It'll take about an hour. Number 6. When did Ms. Jacobs hand in her resignation? A. It should be submitted every week. B. She's leaving the company. C. It was quite a while ago. Number 7. The weather has been so unpredictable lately. A. I'll call you later. B. I didn't predict that. C. Yes, I never know if I'll need an umbrella. Number 8. Which cleaning solution is best for removing stains? A. Yes, these are sustainable. B. None of those ones. C. I already moved it. Number 9. Have you purchased a ticket for the music festival? A. There are many bands playing this year. B. Just enter your credit card details. C. Not yet, but I'll get one soon. Number 10. You didn't send out the product samples yet, did you? A. They're free for new customers. B. Thanks, I appreciate it. C. No, they're still on my desk. Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two or more people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. In this practice test, you just need to answer two questions. Select the best response to each question and choose the letter A, B, C, or D on your screen. The conversations will not be shown on your screen and will be spoken only one time. Question 11 and 12 refer to the following conversation. Excuse me, could you help me? I'm interested in buying this particular vehicle. Can you tell me a little bit more about its price and options? Certainly, sir. 
This car is four years old, but as you can see, it has very low mileage on it. It also has had several personalized upgrades made to it, including the music system. That stereo is actually the reason I'm attracted to this car. But before I make any decisions, is it possible for me to take the car for a test drive? Number 11. Where is the conversation most likely taking place? Number 12. What does the woman say about the vehicle? Question 13 and 14 refer to the following conversation. Hi, my name is Leonard Keeder and I write the business profile section of the Boston Chronicle. Would you be willing to answer some questions about your design store? I'm not sure. Before I agree, can you give me a little more information about what the article is about? I'm writing a piece that describes a dozen businesses which have been successful during their first year in operation. In addition to the introductions, profiles will include a short description of the industry each business belongs to. I really like the concept. I'd like to participate. I'm busy at the moment, however. If you provide me with some dates to choose from, we can set up a more appropriate time for an interview. Number 13. Who most likely is the man? Number 14. What information does the woman request from the man? Question 15 and 16 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Hello, Mr. Richards. This is Diane Palmer from Indent Industries. I'm calling to let you know that you're our first choice for the accounting position you applied for. Great. I'm happy to accept your offer, but I won't be able to start working for you right away. I have to give my current employer two weeks' notice before I leave. That won't be a problem. We hope that you'd be able to attend an orientation session on Saturday, though. It will only take two hours, and you'll receive some quick training to prepare you for your first day. I'm supposed to have my car inspected this Saturday, but I might be able to reschedule the appointment. If you tell me your phone number, I can call you back when I know for sure. Number 15. What is the purpose of the call? Number 16. Why does the woman say, That won't be a problem. Question 17 and 18 refer to the following conversation. Hello. Thank you for visiting Westford Post Office. How can I help you? About a week ago, my friend mailed me a package with some books but I just realized that I gave him my old address. Now I'm worried I won't receive the package. Well, do you have the item's tracking number? I can use it to look the package up in our system and see whether it's been delivered yet. If not, I can halt the shipment. No, I don't have that. In that case, you'll have to wait for the package to be returned to the sender. Your friend will have to mail it out again to the proper address. Sorry. Number 17. What problem does the man mention? Number 18. What does the woman say the man must do? Questions 19 and 20 refer to the following conversation. I'm taking an afternoon flight to San Jose on Tuesday to attend the seminar on facility safety that we signed up for. When will you be traveling? I'm scheduled to complete an inspection at our Tucson factory that day, so I'll be leaving later in the evening. I plan on staying at the Surfside Inn near the downtown area. Oh, that's my hotel too. Let's have an early breakfast on Wednesday morning and drive to the workshop together. Um if that's okay with you. 
I was just going to say that. Let's meet in the lobby at 6.15 a.m. Number 19. What does the man say about his flight? Number 20. Why are the speakers going to San Jose? Part 4. Directions. You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each talk. In this practice test, you just need to answer two questions. Select the best response to each question and choose the letter A, B, C, or D on your screen. The talks will not be shown on your screen and will be spoken only one time. Questions 21 and 22 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. Before we end our meeting today, I have some good news for everyone. The regional director approved the request for laptop computers for our entire company. They will begin arriving next month. We will have our specialists install them as quickly as possible. To prepare for the transition to the new computers, we ask that all employees back up all work-related files in their employee folders before the end of July. If you are uncertain of how to do this, call the Employee Help Desk at extension 5590. Number 21. What is the talk mainly about? Number 22. What is mentioned about the laptop computers? Questions 23 and 24 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, this is Ed Milbank from Milbank Construction. I'm following up after yesterday's site visit to the empty lot that you plan to buy and build your new home on. My team has confirmed that the land conditions are good and there are no major building issues for us to be concerned about. In regard to your first concern, our final assessment is that this will be an ideal lot on which to build a residence. You should go ahead and purchase it. Secondly, we cannot offer you any building quotes until we have more information. We need to know the total number of square feet of the house and its exterior shape. A design blueprint with all of this information will be particularly helpful. With it, we can determine an accurate cost estimate for construction. Number 23. What does the speaker say about the site visit? Number 24. What information does the speaker need to know? Questions 25 and 26 refer to the following talk. I want to stress the importance of tonight's banquet for our catering company. Celebrities, state legislators, and business owners will be among the guests. So, please be attentive to the diner's requests and double-check all the orders. This will not only ensure that our guests get everything they need, but will also give them a positive first impression of our business. That is essential for a new company such as ours. Okay, let's begin setting up for the evening. Number 25. What is the topic of the talk? Number 26. Who most likely are the listeners? Questions 27 and 28 refer to the following instructions. Our office is going to begin a health campaign soon that will encourage employees to be physically active. The campaign is called Ready to Move. Participating workers will be asked to wear a special fitness tracking wristband to measure the amount of exercise done each month, and those who meet a certain target will get a $50 incentive. Of course, it's up to you how to achieve this goal. Not everyone enjoys running, for instance. 
There's biking or swimming too, whatever suits your needs. Now, I'd like those who are interested to come up here and sign up on this sheet. Number 27. What does the speaker mean when he says, It's up to you how to achieve this goal. Number 28. What will some listeners probably do next? Questions 29 and 30. Refer to the following announcement and schedule. May I have your attention, please? I have a brief announcement for all Edwin manufacturing workers. Next Tuesday night, there will be a maintenance check on the sign-in and sign-out system we use for tracking employee hours. During this time, employees won't be able to record their working hours for their factory shifts. Instead, I've, uh, created a document for reporting your work hours. If your shift overlaps with the maintenance, please email me so I can send you a copy of the form to fill out. The maintenance work is scheduled to take place from 9 p.m. to midnight. That's next Tuesday, June 4th. Number 29. According to the woman, what will happen next Tuesday? Number 30. Look at the graphic. Who will most likely send the speaker an email?